Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Cold Lefty. We are back with another world edit tutorial and today is all about slash mask. Slash mask is a really useful command, but it's a little bit more complicated than the rest of the world edit commands. So let's get into the tutorial. And just as an example of what slash mask can do, it can turn this pretty bland, suspicious structure into a really colorful, suspicious structure. All right, so let's get started on what slash mask does. Slash mask is used on top of using a brush like a BR sphere brush to basically only change a certain block. Here's an example for you guys. Let's say I do slash BR sphere red wool three. So if you haven't set a brush mask yet, there will be no mask on. And when you click here, it'll actually go on top of and outside of this white structure here. So let's undo that. Now let's try using slash mask. So we're going to do slash mask and then whatever block we want to pretty much replace. And in that case, it is white concrete. Now, as you can see, when I click, it only affects the white concrete and nothing else around it, like the air around it. But there's one thing to note, which you'll see later in the video about using slash mask. The actual brush type you choose, so like sphere or cylinder, will affect how slash mask works. What I mean by this is let's say I click in this corner, as you can see, it pretty much covers a lot of blocks because the brush wants to make a sphere. But if I change our brush to be our sill, let's do blue wool and let's have it be four wide and one high. When I click on our selection now, as you can see, it only changes this single block layer. I can do it down here too. And once again, it doesn't really cover a lot of blocks. But how about I change that height to five? Now when I click, Click, it actually does select more blocks and change more of the white concrete. That is once again because our cylinder brush is actually five tall, so it wants to make that cylinder, but it'll just do it only inside of the white concrete. To change the block that you're masking, you just do slash mask and whatever block you want to mask. And to disable it, just do slash mask. As you can see, my brush mask was disabled. Now when I use a brush, it's back to normal and I can actually create spheres. I'm going to give you guys a real example of how you can apply this command to enhance your builds. This river is nice, but let's put some stone right around the edges because realistically grass isn't going to go right into water or river. There's going to be some sort of like rocky terrain by it in most cases. Using the tips I've already gone through today, let's start with BR Sphere, Stone, and 3 should be a good size. Here's the tricky part. Let's do slash mask, but what block do we want to mask? Because grass block and dirt are actually different. Let's start with grass block to see what happens. As I apply the brush, it seems to be working well, right? It's not changing the dirt though, and that's kind of an issue. And sure, you could just do slash mask dirt now, and then kind of use it that way to get the rest of the blocks. But a creative trick you can use in some situations is actually change that dirt into grass so we can just get all of the blocks at once. So I'm going to use slash replace near, let's say the nearest 40 blocks, we're going to be replacing dirt with grass block. Now that looks a little weird since under the river got changed to dirt, but all we have to do now is rechange our mask back to grass block and we can get all of that stone into our river right at once. As you can see, this is pretty easy and honestly not too hard. This took like five minutes and that's what world that it is about. Sometimes you want to do something in a build very quickly and you can try to problem solve with a variety of commands. And slash mask is a really good command. That's really it. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to absolutely pound that subscribe button. Join the cold niche. It's always chill vibes. And if you're watching this part, make sure to comment easy in the comments. I'll be sure to read it, like it, and respond. But that is all from me today, guys. So without further ado, my name is Cold Lefty. You guys have a good one.